All right, uh, we're going to work on some more equilibrium problems here to get some more uh, examples that we, we don't have enough time for in class. This one is number 46 from the Zoomdahl 8th edition chemistry, <clears throat> which says uh, a sample of S8 gas is placed in an otherwise empty rigid container at 1325 kelvins at an initial pressure of 1.00 atmospheres where it decomposes to S2 by the reaction and that is S8 going to 4S2 okay. at an equilibrium the partial pressure of S8 is 0.25 atmospheres calculate Kp for the reaction all right. <clears throat> Since we're talking about Kp, um, we measure the equilibrium concentrations not in moles per liter, but in pressure unit atmosphere. Okay, so that's implied. Anytime we want Kp, pressures are atmospheres. So um, uh, we're first going to write. We want the pressure equilibrium constant Kp. Remember, that's different than Keq. So that would be the product pressure, S2, to the fourth power is the coefficient divided by the reactant pressure, S8. And we only have one reactant and one product, so it's a simple expression. <clears throat> and um, so in this case, we want Kp, and we're given some concentrations. So it's different in that... Um, uh, we need to find out what the final, uh, well, we need to find out K. So an ice table is going to be handy here as well. Just, we're just going to use it differently because we're, 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 we're missing some information. So uh, let me rewrite the equation here. Uh, S8 decomposing to 4S2. Okay, notice they're both gases, so they're both going to be as we said here, part of the equilibrium. So an ice table. Okay, now it said an initial pressure of 1.00 atmospheres from S8. It says S8 was placed in a contained, otherwise empty. So also it does, it implies that there's no S2 in here, so that's zero atmospheres. <coughs> So it looks like Q would be zero, right? Because products over reactants, which means Q is less than K, which means that the products must increase and the reactants must decrease. So uh, the equilibrium has to be to the right. The reaction has to go to the right. So uh, reactants uh, must get smaller by the stoichiometric amount, so the change would be minus X. The products must increase by 4x because of the coefficient, right? <clears throat> so at equilibrium, we have 1.00 minus x for S8 and 0 plus 4x or just 4x for S2. Now, uh, in the other problems, we would put these back into this and solve for x. Uh, but we knew Kp in those cases. In this problem, we, we don't know Kp. So um, there's some other key information right here. It says at equilibrium, the partial pressure of S8 is 0.25 atmospheres. So that's this. So we can take this out and make it equal to 0.25. So we know from this what the equilibrium pressure is. So that's how we get X here. So it looks like I have to add x and subtract 0.25. So we get 0.75 equals x. That's the change. So S8 partial pressure would be 1.00 atmospheres minus x, 0.75, which would give us 0.25 atmospheres. The, these are equilibrium pressures. The pressure of S2 would be 
4x, so that would be 4 times 0.75. I think that is 3.0 atmospheres. Okay, now we can plug them back in. Kp would be the pressure of S2 to the fourth power. We'll go ahead and drop the units now that we're writing K. Just make sure these are atmospheres. So 3.0 to the fourth power over S8 equilibrium pressure 0.25 to the first power. So I'm going to use Google to do my calculation. Okay, uh, just had to pause there for a second. So uh, we were calculating um, equilibrium constant, Kp. So 3 to the fourth power divided by 0.25 and I get four rounding, 337.5. So two significant figures. Kp would be 340. Okay, that's it.